Hi everybody, it's Kyle. Hey, today I want to do a quick lunchtime video. Uh, something happened last night that I thought was kind of interesting, and, and it was this. My wife and I, uh, we don't watch a lot of TV for obvious reasons, but we had all the kids in bed, and it was getting a little later, and we were watching the uh, Olympics last night, and we were watching the, uh, the U.S. women's gymnastics team. And she was watching it pretty closely, and I was kind of doing some things on my laptop, kind of uh, working along. And all of a sudden, she said to me, did you see that? And, I, and it kind of popped me out of my, looking at my laptop, and I said, what happened? And she said, Lori Hernandez, I guess was the girl's name, is one of the Olympic gold medalists now. They won the, the team gold medal. And she was about to go on to the balance beam, and she said she couldn't hear her, but she saw her mouth move, and it said, you got this. And I said, really? And she said, yeah, I do that too. I said, really? You do that too? And she said, yeah, there's other things I do too. Well, uh, we didn't talk much more about it until they went to the floor exercise. And then the announcer saw uh, Lori Hernandez kind of tap her stomach right before she was about to start. And he said that was a way that she calmed herself down and got herself ready. And so, you know, that really got my wife's attention and my attention too. And she said, you know, there's a there's some real similarities in what, you know, the balance beam and what she did right there and what we've learned to do in our family. And so I said, well, well tell me what you mean because, you know, I'm a little curious and I want to know what her perspective is. And she said, well, she said, you know, they, they really, first of all, they have to learn techniques. They have to learn ways. They have to learn the correct techniques to apply on the balance beam or on the floor exercise. And they have to know the basics first. And that's kind of what we have to do. We have to understand really how we want to react in certain situations and how we want to be for our kids on the spectrum. And then she said they practice and practice and practice. And they practice these techniques and they practice being uh, perfect at what they're trying to do. And she said, we have to do that too. We have to, we have to learn some techniques and we have to understand what we're trying to accomplish and the best way to do it first. And then we have to practice that very consistently. And she said, but the thing I like most about what Lori Hernandez did was right as she was about to get started in each of these events and in, in the most critical times, she had triggers. She said, you got this to herself in one case. And she may have tapped her stomach. Maybe it's, maybe they worked together. And like I said, she tapped her stomach. She said, you got this. And, and in another case we saw, she tapped her stomach and, and the announcer actually said that was her way of squaring herself so that she could go into this and rely on what she had learned and the techniques that she knew uh, and had practiced and just take that practice and enjoy the experience. And so it was interesting to me because my wife says in some cases when things get a little escalated, I'll, I'll stop and I'll take a quick breath and I'll say, you got this. And she'll go into it with the right attitude and then understand that she understands what she's supposed to do. And then it's just a matter of applying what she's practiced over and over and over. And so I thought that was really interesting. And, it, and you know, maybe raising a child on the autism spectrum is like the Olympic balance beam. I mean, we are going to make mistakes occasionally, but certainly we're going to practice being perfect. Certainly we want to understand what techniques and, and the approach we need to take to get the desired result. And then we need to practice that approach and, and, and we need to consistently do the right things and then continue to practice. And then, and then really when, when times get tough or we, we come against the, the really hard situations, we need to, to have a way to calm ourselves and ramp ourselves up and say, you got this, you know what you're doing. And, and, and apply that triggering mechanism as well. So hopefully that's interesting and helpful for you. I thought it was very interesting last night and it led to a great conversation between my wife and I. And she has her own uh, little triggering techniques. I've talked about how many I have. She has her own, but I never knew what some of hers were. So uh, I guess that's how uh, the Olympic balance beam can be like raising a child on the spectrum. Aside from the fact that it's not very easy either, for sure. 
So uh, just want to leave that with you. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, set up for yourself. Practice. You know, that's the idea is understand what you want to do and what you want to accomplish and learn techniques and then practice those techniques pretty consistently. And then when things get hard, when they get very difficult, rely on your experience, rely on your practice and your techniques and maybe create your own. Maybe you need to say, maybe when your son or daughter's having a meltdown, you need to say to yourself, I got this. And maybe tap yourself on your stomach and start to rely on your experience and what you've learned, the techniques that you've practiced over the years so that you can get the desired result. And that result is this, is that they know that you love them and that you're in your best possible state when they need you most because they need you most when they're melting down. They need you most when times are the most difficult for them. So hopefully that's helpful. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.